Okay, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Funny when I practiced that, oh, I can do so much longer than that, but oh well. That was a little homage to Nintendo Capri Sun and his obscenely long O's that he sometimes uses, but okay. Welcome back, guys. The last time we did some scurrying around the Torvus area after, in the aftermath of the Boost Guardian. And there's not really a whole lot that we have to talk about here. It's just basic, uh, pirate business here. Now, this is just a regular Dark Trooper, I guess. Dark Commando? No? I guess it's just a Dark Trooper. Cool. Anyways, inside here is some mighty fine business. Um, we have no business over there yet. We need the uh, grapple beam first. Technically, we also need the power boss. Fine! Take Super Missile! God! Leave me the hell alone. Oh, another one wants one? Fine! Take that! Jeez. Okay. So, now that I think the pain train is finally finished up, we can finally continue our business. Yeah, it was right next door, huh? Isn't that funny? They had us go through that suicidal mission just for that next door bullshit. Uh, because they want people to have the dark suit. Because they figure they know what's best for the player. Only the player knows what's best, you assholes. So, with that in mind, let's go across and claim our treasure, what is rightfully ours. And just keep boosting in and out. Seemed like there was some kind of invisible barrier there. That's interesting. Ah, we're going past one of those uh, purple doors. Cool. Huh. Ah, it's a funny little room. What is this? Object is part of a containment system. Secured by a series of rotating locks and... Luminoth was very young at the time of death, not quite to adulthood. That a child would be pressed into combat duty suggests how desperate the Luminoth were at the war's end. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Now, once you have stuff that glows, you know you're on the right track. Okay. So if I've got that one glowing. This is a bit of a complicated puzzle. at times. See, what this puzzle does is it uh, rotates, obviously you can see, but it rotates two connecting uh, rings. And I guess your job is to get them into an alignment so that the only rings that you have to spin are the uh, outer ones. Uh, not that one. Probably the purple one. Yep. And there we go. That's the puzzle. Not much to it, really. And I guess more solar radiation causes the glass tube to shatter, whatever. And that unlocks what? Seeker launcher? What's that? Is that a new beam? Seeker launcher. Um... Hey, it's opening up the missile slot. Whoa! Five missiles at once? I gotta be honest, guys, for all that I don't like about this game, uh, it, it, it's still a good game, but I love the Seeker Launcher. It's a great addition to the game. Because it's actually, when you think about it, probably even stronger than a super missile. When, if you bombard an enemy with five missiles at once, it's probably stronger than a super missile, I'd say. Uh, perished due to a lack of nour nourishment. She remained at her post despite the fact she, she was starving to death. This is some pretty grim stuff. It's kind of sad when you think about it. 
really, uh, really grim indeed. Oh, uh, not you friggin' Lumites. Fuck you all. Die! Now, where's the landing pad at, anyway? Landing site. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Because we have a boss to fight. It's a really hard boss, too. M. M. Ohe's Testament. Okay. So, hidden right behind there is a key barrel lore, and if you want to get up there from now on, just do that. And if you haven't already, scan Samus's ship. It's a godsend. Now, I should save because up ahead is like the hardest boss of all time. And I'm not looking forward to it in the least. It really does scare me. But well, I'll jump down, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go. It's been a while since we've been here. What the hell is this? Galactic Federation Trooper. Zero life signs. Uh. Oh! Um. So, guys, I'd like to introduce you to the Ing that stole our missile launcher. Because you remember, we didn't get our missiles from an Ing. This is what stole our missiles. The Dark Missile Trooper, or the Ing that's possessing it. And this is the hardest boss in the entire fucking game. You want to know why? Oh. Um, I guess not. Freeze and kill. Yeah. So those missiles look a lot different from uh, the missile expansions. So that is definitely the missile launcher. So that, there's an extra five missiles. And one thing that I'd like to note, there's a reason that I had that, uh, that uncertainty about, uh, you remember in Prime 1 how I thought that there were, uh, 255 missiles as opposed to 250. Well, that's because in Corruption and, and Echoes, there are uh, 255 missiles. Now, the problem is, there's a reason for that, and that reason, of course, is the Seeker Launcher. That counts for an extra five missiles. And, you know what? Screw this. I'm just going to get my Seeker Launcher out. Uh, maybe I didn't need to do that. Um... Gate will not move from current position, so how do I... Um, am I missing something? Probably. You know what? Screw you guys. I'll just boost into you. Oh, I guess not. I guess boost doesn't do what it once did. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. So, what now? What am I looking for? Where do I need to go? Through here? Come on! I can fit through there! So, if gate won't move from current position, how do I get... How do I get out? Really? You guys seriously couldn't have been that stupid, could you? Or am I just so unobservant and really stupid myself? I don't know. That's probably what it's going to amount to. Come on, why do you guys got to constantly get in my business? Right, duh. I hate this music! Shut up! Ugh. Okay. And this room should seem familiar. This is where we lost our shit. Well, no longer. I kicked Dark Samus' ass as retribution. Now let's go inside here and get... More missiles! Missiles really are us now. So in this part, we've gotten three missile expansions. Very nice. Okay, come on. This is getting absurd. Shut up! Thank you. God. Okay, so we went in one gigantic circle, guys. Because you remember that, uh... Door that was right next to where we dropped to get to the Dark Missile Trooper, this is it. it. It was really like right next door. We literally went nowhere. We went in one gigantic friggin' circle and did nothing besides get a bunch of missiles. Do we seriously need missiles at this point? Well, I guess beggars can't be choosers, so... Where the hell am I going? I don't know. 
I know that uh, my recording is bound to end soon, so it probably would behoove me to, once the 10 minute uh, 59 second mark is reached, just to cut off and say bye bye and then just go immediately and meet you guys back at Torvis. I'll leave that closed for now just so I remember that I gotta go in there. I could actually go back to Aegon, but there's not really much point to doing that for right now. In fact, here is the elevator up, and there's really nothing else that we're going to be able to do here. So, just to spare myself the recording time, I think this is where I will see you guys next time. I'll, actually, I'll meet you guys back in Torvis Ball. Next time, and let's play Metroid Prime 2. Echoes. More shit to do. Have a good day.